Hey, it's Jim from Jim's Holy Coleus. Yeah, I figured let me throw out a little video on on my uh, farmer's market. Uh, everybody's been following me all year long and so forth and how I grow my coleus. And this is where it's at. This is what I do every week. So let's go and take a look at how I set up my stand. So for those of you who don't know, Bayhead, New Jersey is a seaside town. Sort of an old quaint seaside town in Ocean County, New Jersey. It's about 50 miles south of New York City, about 50 miles north of Atlantic City, near Seaside Heights and Point Pleasant Beach. It's a very nice, quaint town right by the ocean. Very quiet, uh, very nice little upscale restaurants and so forth. It's a really beautiful, beautiful place to visit for a weekend or, or a getaway or a week. So let's go take a look at my stand. So this is basically how I set up my stand, uh, my awning, and I basically in the be beginning of the season I have two tables. At the end of the season I generally have one, and I uh, I'm joined by two local farmers on either side of me. And again, it's a very small farmers market, but we get a lot of foot traffic here. We got a lot of uh, they do very well. By the end of uh, we, we do this weekly every Thursday between 1, 1 and 5 p.m. And by 5 p.m., everybody's pretty much emptied out. So it's a pretty nice little farmer's market. Again, very close to the ocean. In Bayhead, New Jersey. You'll never know what you'll see in the sky. On the beach, you'll see. So, Bayhead is a beautiful place to grow up and live in. And generally, I'll. I'll um, I'll hang my hanging baskets along the bottom of the uh, tent. Uh, sometimes I keep them on the ground. So they display. It's really all a matter of how it displays. And uh, that's one good, nice thing about coleus is they display very well, especially when they're all together like this. The colors just really pop and they display well. And I like to add a little, little pinwheels just to, to kick the table up a little. So even this late in August, uh, there's still plenty of growing season ahead. You can really go right through to November if you're in the frost area. And any of these pots can be brought inside. You can put them in a bay window and they'll live all year long. They uh, naturally, over the winter time, as light decreases, the coleus will start to, uh, they'll go into a period of dormancy over the winter. As long as you provide light, they'll, they'll be fine. They'll lose some color and so forth and some leaves, but they will make it through the winter. So. So they display really nicely for the farmer's market. They do pretty well every week. And I'll just continue to uh, set up until I'm out of coleus. And as you can hear by the ocean, we always have the patrols up and down the coast. So, so uh, Bayhead, New Jersey, Point Pleasant Beach. It's a very nice place if you've never been here. Uh, 
look into it, make it a little day trip. Summer, of course, is the the season here, but fall and winter are just as beautiful. Sometimes some people say fall and winter are the best because then you can get a table when you want to go out to eat. So. What I love most with the farmer's market is the interaction I get with uh, the people. Some people really love coleus and I love teaching people about them. And also like uh, a lot of my customers, I have some that have uh, made the trip from YouTube to, to meet me. I really appreciate that. And I also try to uh, also try to plug my YouTube channel while I'm here and my Instagram teach people how to grow and maintain their coleus. I sell the singles late in August uh, or early August, September, so whatever I have left. I'll sell the uh, singles in a tray per pot, a dollar a piece. This is really the last of them. And, uh, and I price my medium pots. They generally go for $8 and I'll sell them for about five. But generally during the season, I sell them for about $8, $10, $12 for hanging baskets. And today I have the hanging baskets for $10. And I sold one of my larger planters today. So it's a good little hobby. It's a good little, some good extra money. And again, I use uh, most of the proceeds I donate to uh, different charities that I, that I, um, I donate to. And lastly, I uh, purchased this last year. Um, I decided to spend good money on a pump, a metal pump sprayer, a heavy duty metal pump sprayer. So I make sure all my plants are always watered. And the cheaper ones, I just uh, throw money away. So um, the cheap plastic ones don't last. So this is a. Uh, I bring this to the farmer's market with me as well because they can get really dried out these coleus so um, so I, I make sure I bring this with me and a fold up table and of course these fold up canopy tents which are the best thing. And as you can see it gets pretty busy here. You get a lot of foot traffic through here, Bayhead, New Jersey. It's a beautiful, beautiful town. I highly recommend um, for day trips or there are so many bed and breakfasts around here. Oh, Spring Lake is nearby, bed and breakfasts. It's a beautiful place to come uh, summer, fall, winter. So check out uh, the different towns, Bayhead, Point Pleasant Beach, Seaside. Spring Lake and so forth. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my farmers market. Not my farmers market. The farmers market is actually uh, run by a, um, a local businessman, James Dalton Jr. Uh, he's also a musician. Uh, check him out on Instagram or Facebook. I think he uh, he's a great guy, and I really uh, it's a shout out to you, James, for allowing me to set up each week at the farmers market um, so thank you very much James so uh, anyway I hope everybody enjoyed this video on how I because um, this is it this is really why I, I grow my coleus each year ultimately is the, is the farmers market of course I love 
the reward of growing plants myself and, and how they turn out each year and, and the mistakes I make and how I learn from my mistakes and I hope my YouTube channel helps you guys out and making friends on YouTube and so forth uh, people are really really nice so um, I did pretty well I think I have one more I should have enough plants for I do know I have enough plants for next week so um, I'm gonna have one more probably one or two more sales at the Bayhead Farmers Market so if you're in the New Jersey area you want to take a trip down and come and say hi um, this is the time of year uh, especially with the farmers uh, vegetables and fruits is the best time of year Jersey for uh, Jersey vegetables and so forth are really really great when they're fresh and ripe so come on down so uh, again let's go take a look we have a few more plants left and thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video this little tour of Bayhead Point Pleasant Beach uh, Bayhead New Jersey and uh, we'll see you next week so I don't have too much left a little you know, a few enough for a sale uh, I put a lot of stuff in here right now actually I put these monsters in here because supposed to, we we're, were supposed to get some uh, storms over the weekend and I have to work I have work nights so I want to make sure these beauties don't get damaged uh, I'm gonna bring these to the sale so I got a couple of larger planters and some hanging baskets but you can see most of the shelves are empty um, so uh, it's been a pretty successful year for the sale for the uh, farmers market and I'm already looking forward to next year so but we still have some coleus here and we'll still be shooting out videos and if you're subscribing to my channel there's plenty of coleus to come just because we're out of plants doesn't mean we're out of ideas and there's a lot of learning because the next stage now is seeds and that's uh, what we're doing right here perfect example I love these Saturns and this plan here specifically I'm keeping for seed stalks I already have about four or five seed stalks inside drying out so look forward to uh, the upcoming videos if you're following Jim's Holius Acolius we're gonna learn how to um, collect dry out and store seeds your own coleus seeds so you don't have to go out and buy them and you know that this here is a Saturn you know that these are Saturn seeds so next year you want to grow Saturn coleus you know that these are coleus Saturn coleus seeds so anyway thanks for watching appreciate uh, everybody following and I hope you enjoy this video we'll see you soon take care everybody thanks for watching Jim's holiest of coleus